we run two and a half inch hose, we need two port holes, security doors. Those are the new style. On the baby butler, we're gonna have a old style on the outside yet. We can change those covers later. But I have to get in those on the baby butler. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to take and uh, mount in a side port hole, as Marty, the pig farmer, carpet cleaner would call it, pork holes, but it's port holes. It's actually security, security access holes. So here's going to be for the barn type door because those are wider. You'll see that difference in size because I'm going to go through more of a door in the bar door. I'm gonna use the old style that I still had one of these. So on the back side, this goes on the back side to help uh, help with that. This here's gonna be the old style, but they do have the new style and I have a couple of them, but I'm gonna save that since I still have a working outdoor plastic one on the old baby butler. Got some rivets, gonna make that happen. And I'm gonna go get my uh, boar saw, boar saw to saw a hole in the side of that door. I know you're all waiting for that. Hey, that's what we're dealing with and we're gonna mount another one in there. That means I gotta drill a hole through my van. So I'm gonna tape this off, mark it. It's gonna be eight and a quarter inches down from the window, I'm told from Butler, to match up with that. Somewhere in there. You wanna make sure you're not gonna cut through any mechanical items and stuff. So she's gonna go in there somewhere. Okay, this is a four inch bore saw. So it lines up with that. Four inch bore saw, that's what it says on the side here. I would definitely double check whatever you buy before you start cutting though. All right, I'm gonna go eight and a quarter inches down. I'm gonna mark that here, and I'm probably gonna get some type of ruler so I can do a straight line there and mark it up and center it up. Okay, I'm using a level here so I can kinda make sure. I'm not quite on my dots down here, but I'll double check it. But at least I've got a level with the level going across there. Okay, now I'm going to have to determine where I'm going to center this and make sure I don't hit something on the back side. Okay, what I did is I, I pulled this back a bit on this clip so I could see down inside there. And I see this is wide open in here, no problem. So I'm just going to center on what is going to be the best spot where I think it'll be kind of placed and kind of proportionate and nice. Give me enough metal over on this side to also not be a problem in the door. Okay, just so you know, eight and one quarter inches down from that window down to there. That's where we're going. We're gonna center it. I have the luxury to go look and see how Butler spaced it. So with this spacing ring, they've got it just about touching, just a little gap between it. So that's what I'm gonna do inside there. Make this here ring close together, uniform. Put a little tape on the top here that'll help aid me with this so I can kind of play with it. So going there, it's gonna go somewhere in that range. I'll do some measuring on the bottom, make sure I'm on place. All right, I discovered that from the top of the window to the top of this is five and one quarter inches. I'll write that on there. All right, five and one quarter inches to the top, to the top. I'm gonna draw my circle in here. That's where I'm gonna line up my bore saw. There she goes. That's what we're shooting for. One more thing to help this. I put this in the center, centered it up, and just to make sure the outer edge would be fine on that, drew a line. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Horse saw. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. Now or never. Gonna need a stronger drill.
right, that thing got inside there on me. And I've got a magnet, and there it is. All right, I switched back up to this drill, just to drill through the plastic. There's a little screw there that I can loosen up and pull out this drill lead line a little bit longer. I'm gonna get it in there, get her lined up, get a hole established. There we go. And we have a hole all the way through and some plastic in there. All right, see, we're through. There we go. All right, there's a short side that'll go on the inside of the door. It'll go in there. And that's just gonna be held by a couple of rivets that we'll use and put in there. I'm gonna need two hands, there we are. And the longer one will go from the outside. Of course, I haven't taken off the tape yet. That's where it'll go. I'll take the tape off and we'll get it in there. Since I'm gonna do this one-handed for demonstration purposes, I just taped that on there, but the plastic piece goes out first. This piece goes on next. Oh, that got your teeth. That's how it goes. We'll drill our holes for our rivets, this side, and then there's two on each side here. We'll drill to go into the metal. So we've got a total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Did I do that right? No, I did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rivets. We'll go on this side and four on the inside. Okay, this little flapper is going to go on there. And then there's a bracket that's down there below there. So this bracket also is going to take two rivets. We're going to drill into the body metal. So it looks like this. So the flapper will go on. You put two screws in the end part here. So that also is going to go right below there. Okay, it's not going to take very large rivets. You're just going to line that up with a drill bit. I'm going to say, gosh, eighth inch. I might, I'm going to be totally wrong. I'm just going to go line it up and I'm going to get it so my rivets lined up. I don't need very long ones in this case. I want them durable long enough. All right, I've got an eighth inch drill bit. I'm going to drill these five holes in here. Actually, I'm going to take them one at a time and drill them after I get it put in there. I'll get two. Good old trusty uh, pop rivet gun. Get a decent one. Doesn't have to be super expensive, but don't get cheap because they're terrible. Just get that in there. Get it in there fairly solid. Boom. There's one. We'll get another in there. And then we'll finish drilling these out. There we are. Boom. Easy peasy. Finish drilling that out. We're gonna have to drill two in here as well too. Let's pop these in first. All right, do you see here? They've also got two to hold in this rim here. So I'm gonna try to line this up and I'm gonna probably use two hands. I'll try to film it, but I'm gonna start drilling into there to get into the rim and the door metal. Actually going to go with a two little bit longer ones for this here to grab a little more metal there's a little more here than the versus the plastic so I'm going to get those in there and uh, get those hooked up okay this metal bracket I just taped this in place it fits really perfectly in the groove they have here that's what holds this part on with two screws on each side. So we're gonna get those holes drilled out and pop riveted in next. Just want to make sure this piece is going to be snug and also it fits in this groove that's right in there. 
the nice part of it holds together. So you'll notice they've got four rivets here. So we're just going to make a couple spots here, just like they've done here in this ridge. I'm gonna go with some longer rivets in this because of uh, what I'm dealing with here in the door with the plastic, so I give a little more on the backing. We'll get that done. There we are. Okay, all we got left is to mount this flapper. Just take two screws on the side there. I'll get that going. These are kind of self-tapping. Here's one started. Get that out of the way. We'll get this other one in here. And we'll start tightening them up. I got a shorty today. What I found in the toolkit. And we'll snug these down. Might take a little longer than you want to watch. Here we go, we have a little space between them. And it is done. Would you look at that? Second porthole. Now we can run our two and a half inch hose through both and the regular water lines and high pressure lines through there. We're all set. Okay, the one piece we did not use, which is used on like the one I've got, would normally go inside here. We don't have to do this apparently on the uh, barn door type, so that's the next part I'll have for another day. So why did I do that today? Because this year, that's going away. In about a week, this baby butler is gonna get a full wrap. It's gonna be welcomed in the family, so Wanted to get these portholes cut in before we make a mess and make a mess on the wrap so they can plan ahead. Thanks for watching. Hope this can help some of you out. I know, it's like scary thing cutting through your door of your van. I can tell you, the doors are $1,600. We just had to put one on the back of the baby butler because when I bought it used, it apparently had somebody put a used one on it, so they're expensive. Take care.